FY12 with a mile. So, you know, how the car's running? How's Kevin feeling? Uh, the car's been pretty decent since we got here. It's definitely not the fastest car here, but we keep uh, trying to make it better and better as we go. And uh, felt like we made some gains on it yesterday, and hopefully we'll get some practice in today and, yeah. and uh, see what we got. Yeah. So let's talk about you. Obviously, you've been racing for a long time. You did it yourself a while ago. So when it came to racing yourself, when did that interest start? You know, were you a kid? Was it in your family growing up? You know, what was it like for you? It was kind of an interesting thing with me. Uh, my family wasn't in racing, but I had a lot of uh, friends that, that were kind of into it. I had a friend that his dad raced go-karts, and uh, I went with them a couple times to the racetrack and, and really enjoyed watching it and uh, you know, just asked my parents for a racing go-kart and uh, started racing when I was about 12 years old and uh, just moved up through the ranks with go-karts and light models and um, all kinds of different things. What do your parents think when you wanted to get into race car driving? It's not the best thing to get in as a kid. What did they think? Yeah, they, at first they didn't know what to think. They, they couldn't believe I wanted to do that. But, um, you know, ever since I was a little kid, all I cared about was being outside and, and uh, ride my bike. And I had a little pedal go-kart that I rode a lot. So, um, you know, I don't think they were surprised, but they didn't know uh, whether they really wanted me to do it. But, um, you know, it all worked out. Yeah. So you started with karting, you dominated in karting, went to late models. This must have been a really exciting time for you because you were moving up the ranks pretty quick. So how exciting was it for you as a young man to be moving up and racing so quick? Yeah, it felt like uh, it felt like it was going really fast. You know, uh, it seemed like every year I was moving up to a different series, and um, you know, I loved it. It was uh, you know a lot of passion, and, and uh, enjoyed what I was doing, and uh, felt like I was really good at it. So. Um, it was exciting for sure and, and uh, a lot of fun. Do you remember any drivers that you raced? Maybe you know any of them nowadays? Maybe they turned out to be drivers. Do you know any of them? Yeah, I mean, there was quite a few people that I raced against growing up. And, um, you know, I went to high school with Dale Jr. and, and raced around him a little bit. And, and uh, But just a lot of you know, a lot of different people yeah. that uh, now moved up and, and uh, got, a, got a shot. Yeah, and you made your... Infinity debut in 2000. That was really the peak of your racing career. So when it came to getting that together, you know, what, what was it like? You were with Jay Robinson. It's an interesting track. You raced with Kevin. So yeah. what was it like getting that together for you? It was interesting. You know, it was a, an older car that Jay had bought at an auction. And looking back on it, I might not should have done that. Yeah. Um, it just wasn't competitive at all. And, and uh, probably made me look worse than, than the experience was worth. But yeah. Um, but overall, it was exciting just to be down there. There was, I think, 57 cars there that weekend, and we made the race and started the race, and, and you know, unfortunately, got in a wreck. But um, it was definitely a lot of good experience and learned a lot from yeah. it. You raced with Tim Fido and Kevin were also in that race. A lot of people find that pretty ironic. So you guys joke about that today. You know how fun was that? Yeah, we talk about it every now and then. I don't think any of us knew each other very well back then, but. Um, you know, for all of us to work on the same team now and to race against each other that day uh, was pretty incredible. Yeah. Was NASCAR your ultimate goal as a driver? Is that really where you wanted to be as a driver instead of a crew chief? Yeah, I mean, that's what I wanted to do is, you know, to, to make it through the ranks and be a driver in the Cup Series. And, uh, you know, just come that time to where there was too many drivers back then, really, and, yeah. and not enough money to go around. But, um, you know, it's... I feel like if, if times could have been different, if I could have been, you know, 10 years earlier or 10 years later, I probably would have got a shot. But um, but still, you know, it was a lot of fun and, and uh, a lot of good experience. Yeah. And to stop racing because of mechanics, was that a tough decision for you? It was really tough. You know, it just, um, it really came down to, you know, I was at the age where I needed to, to, to be a, a real man and to have a real job. Yeah. And, and um, so... You know, overall, I just, you know, tried to, to work hard at, um, you know, doing what I loved, and that was being around racing and felt like um, I was always good at working on the cars. That's what my strong suit was. Yeah. So um, just, you know, went to work for a cut team and just tried to move up from there. Yeah. So you kind of answered already, but you said maybe if it was a different era, maybe 10 years earlier, 10 years later, you may have made it as a driver. So do you think that's really a fact that maybe if it was maybe the 90s, you would have made it in NASCAR? Yeah, it's hard to say. You know, it all comes down to the right opportunity at the right team and the right sponsor and the right amount of money. Yeah. So, 
um, you know, it's a tough sport. You have to you have to have all those pieces, you know, lined up. And, and um, you know, if you even see it these days, you got to have you got to have all of it to, to make somebody uh, run good and, and be competitive. And final question, just looking back on having that racing experience in the cockpit, a lot of the crew chiefs, they, 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 some of them have racing experience, some don't. So when it comes to benefits, now you have such more of an understanding, I would feel. So do you feel that way? And how much does it benefit you today with the 14? Yeah, I definitely think so. You know, uh, I feel like a lot of times, you know, just being on the pit box and watching Kevin's roof camera from on top of the car, um, I can tell a lot about what's going on and what he's going through and and uh, try to start thinking about what's best for him and try to make adjustments for that. And and then there's some racetracks we go to that I actually raced at and feel like I have an understanding of what it takes to run good there. So, um, you know, overall, I think that experience is really good. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely appreciate your time. No, that's lucky. Thanks, man. Yeah, Thank you. It. No worries. Thanks.